And the sound is better. Right? Okay. And the sound is better. It's a little better. Right? I'm going to turn it up a little bit. How's that for audio volume? Turn it up a little bit. Okay. How's that for audio volume? Right. So nobody's ears are exploding. Okay. Now to slowly reintroduce music. Now to slowly reintroduce music. If I can get music. Okay. We've got music. We've got voice. No one's dying. No echo. And beard. Okay. We're good to go. Sorry for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, don't know why I'm having such uh, audio issues today. My microphone disconnected in the middle of the show, which is why the screen went black. So I guess I, guess I know what's going to happen. Uh, what caused, what, what, what will cause that next time. Anyway, uh, we're all back. We're, we're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you freak out. Looks like my mustache. There. We don't want it to fall. It's got to, it's got to be straight out there. There we go. We don't want it curling in. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be drinking Scoresby. Um, not because it's my favorite, but because it's the only one I have on stock. And having scotch in stock when you're broadcasting a show called Scotch and Smoke Rings is, of course, very important. So, we've got the scotch. Now, I'm disappointed in each and every one of you. That's right. I had high expectations, my expectations were up here, and your fulfillment of those expectations are way down here. And it's partially my fault. It's quite, it's quite possible that my expectations were way too high, that I just expected too much from my own fan base. But I have received zero cigars from you. From the beginning of time, I have received zero cigars. Now I know that many of you are underage and you can't buy cigars and for that I understand and I and I won't hold it against you but I've got an entire section of this website dedicated to you buying me cigars because I like cigars and I don't want to have to pay for them and it's important to the health of this show that I am continually fueled by scotch and cigars and yet to date I have received zero cigars from you so I am disappointed I am sad in many places deep within and I was forced today to buy my own cigars. So I've got cigars, and the show will go on because I love you guys that much, but I guess there's just no rep repercussity here. Uh, whatever. That's cool. It's fine. I'll just smoke my cigar here. Cut it. Turn it into flame. Viadis says, I'll only be underaged for a few more months, Ox. Excellent. I expect a case of cigars from you when you turn 18. That's right. I kid, I kid, I kid. If you can't, I understand. I'm just glad that you're here today. T-Lad says you expect too much from the fans, young sir. Yeah, it's quite possible. It's quite possible. H-Star says feeling a guilt trip coming. I just finished the guilt trip. That There's no more guilt trip than what I already did. So... Come on, lighter. Brand new lighter, bought specifically for one purpose. You had one job, lighter. There we go. Come on. That's a good boy. Ignite the tobacco li- Aww. Hmm. It did it. Lorenica says, I made rules of smoke ship etiquette. Indeed you did. And I had them all fired up and ready to share with the world until my computer started acting naughty. And I turned it off. So I'm going to find it again. Wait. Did I really? Hold on a second. I've got it up here somewhere. Yes, here it is. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Loranicus, our intrepid smoke ship creator, has drafted some rules on how to create smoke ship. 
Smoke ships. These can be seen as guidelines, not necessarily hard and fast rules. But I want to share them with you because I thought they were hilarious. So I'm going to add a screen region. There. Oh, it's tiny. There. Proper etiquette of smoke shippery by Loranicus. <clears throat> Every week, the great Oxhorn uses his powers of smoke manipulation to create a marvelous work of art known as a smoke ship. Oxhorn chooses what he will create from a plethora of suggested smoke ships. This is a guide on how to suggest a smoke ship with proper etiquette. Indeed. I really like the way that he, he phrased that. To continue. The one message limit. When riding out your smoke ship, make sure it only takes up one chat message. This ensures that Oxhorn will see it properly. Indeed, that is very wise. If it comes in installments of three or four messages, I might get lost. My attention may wan. I sadly am not what I once was. I know, I'm aged, right? 31 years old. Good grief. Number two, never spam. Always wait at least 15 seconds after your suggestion has left the view of the chat before reposting. If Oxor has already read your suggestion, there is no need to post again unless requested. Very true. I do have a fairly decent memory, and I won't forget your smoke ship. Three, spelling and grammar. Always check the spelling and grammar of your suggestion before posting. Very nice. Four, the ship in smoke ship. There must be some sort of vehicle involved for a suggestion to qualify as a real smoke ship, such as a boat or train, and I can't emphasize that enough. I can't blow a smoke ship of your slumber party unless it took place on a ship. Just saying. Five, redundancy. It is unnecessary to state that it is your smoke ship idea within the suggestion. True, I'm assuming it's yours because it's coming from your name. And finally, number six, perfecting the ship. If you feel as if your smoke ship is missing something, it probably does not have enough bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. You really can't. Uh, it was Elvis's birthday yesterday, and our office was filled with donuts sprinkled with bacon. It was his favorite food. And you know what? It made the donut better. The donut has existed for how long? But it took Elvis to put bacon on it, and it became a masterpiece. That's just the way these things go. Trollo Logan says Elvis is dead. True. But his donut isn't. I have missed that so much. I can't tell you. I'm not... I am not really fond of my electronic pipe. It's okay. Wait, I gotta answer a question here. Uh, Twitch TV, yes, I do see your comments. We're actually all broadcasting from scotchandsmokerings.com. There's a different chat there. But I see your comments. Fudge Cycle, nice, says, Are you actually gonna play World of Warcraft? My friend, I've been playing World of Warcraft since you were a glint in the postman's eye. I have been playing World of Warcraft since the foundations of Azeroth. I don't think I need to prove my gaming geekiness by playing World of Warcraft just for you. However, I might anyway, because I like it. So, to answer your, your question, yes, I, I might play World of Warcraft, but uh, I'm busy. I'm busy with a great cigar, and awesome fans, and Scotch, Scoresby. Sweet Mother of Cheese says, Fudge Cycle, yes, Fudge Cycle, that was the name of the other person. What do you have under your hat? My brain. Also, my beard, it grows up on top of my head. I know. I'm one of the rare individuals that has an a, beer, a beard that not only extends below his chin, but also extends up upon his head. It's, it's a, I know it's a weird thing. All right. I'm being f someone... S <clears throat> A trucker from Germany is flirting with me, so I'm going to ban him. There we go. I'm sorry, that's just the way I roll. Is that insensitive of me? Am I not being tolerant to the 
you know, truckers from Germany that like my beard? Maybe, maybe. But I'm willing to offend that small segment of humanity by banning them. Just saying. Scott's Bear says, Are you the Oxhorn who made WoW movies in 2006? 2006? Gosh, I have been making WoW movies since 2004. I have been making movies every single year since 2004. Um, yes, I am the same Oxhorn, but I did not stop in 2006. 2007, I made Inventing Swear Words 3 and Hat vs. Barnaby. 2008, I made Inventing Swear Words 4 and Mighty Morphin Midget Gnomes Unite and Associate Professor Evil Kills All Ninja Looters. 2009, I made Thunk Leaves Home, Work Work Zug Zug Dabu, among a number of movies. 2010, I made... I make it to Gnome Overboard and yeah I'm beginning to think that this raid isn't going to happen so I have been making movies for well over five years so don't say that I'm just the guy who made movies in 2006 it has actually been longer than one year just saying <laughs> Scott's Bear says okay my bad I know you didn't stop then I was watching them back in 2006 with my friends Holy, I love them. Well, I'm so glad that you love them. I hope you can uh, rope your friends together and watch more of them. Wow, 2006. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Wow, I'm feeling pretty old. Get your friends together and watch all of the new stuff I've done. You can find them at oxhorn.com. I've got all my stuff up there. Best trogue ever best rogue ever thanks no spaces that's cool says can you show off your smoke ring prowess I can and I will bearded the cat says nine years ago you posted your first wow video has it been nine years I released Hark Hear the Whales Christmas of 2004. That was my first video ever. Hark Hear the Whales. You remember? Mortis gets up there. Hark Hear the Whales, sad silver whales in order on, but they are gone. Ding dong, ding dong. That one. That was the first one I ever did, and that was Christmas of 2004. So that was. That was nine years ago. Gosh. Azanoth says, wait, so you started when you were like 24? Yeah. I was in college. I was in college working on my degree in ancient history. I was studying ancient Greek and Latin and Swedish. And I decided in my free time, well, I like World of Warcraft. I'm going to make some movies. And the rest is history. Was I, was I 25? Coincidentally, that is the age of my beautiful wife. She's 25. I'm robbing the cradle, man. Anu711 says, Hi, Oxhorn. I need some more smoke rings. All right, here we go. More smart wings. Rings, that's okay. Ha! <laughs> H-Star says, lol, this day in history. Funny bit of Oxhorn trivia. If you YouTube uh, this day in gaming history, you might find a short-lived series of satirical gaming videos that I produced for Wii game back in 2008. You might recognize this nice tenor. <laughs> They're all rather dark. I made some dark ones like, This day, this day in gaming history, the first person to die playing StarCraft. People were hating on me in the comments for that, by the way. Great question. Riley Gurr says, Oxhorn, I'm on the third chapter of your book, and might I give a fair bit of cheers, man. Some of the best literature I have ever read. Why, thank you very much, Riley Gr. or R Riley Gurr. By the way, he is referring, of course, to my novel, The Tale of Chloron Hastings by Brandon Dennis. I published this just before Christmas. You can purchase it at chloronhastings.com. It is a... How many, how many words? It's like eight... No, it's like... 
80,000 words, 85,000 words. Anyway, it's a uh, young adult fantasy, epic fantasy fiction. It involves the sea. It involves a sailor named Cloran Hastings. I have been getting a lot of great feedback from it, so I'm so glad you guys enjoy it. It's reasonably priced at $30 for the hardcover, $20 for the paperback, and $10 for the ebook, cloranhastings.com. I'm just going to go ahead and type that into the chat box here. Dub, dub, dub. Cloranhastings.com. And then dub, dub, dub. Cloranhastings.com. Yeah. Pulsive says, dude, it's like you come from a movie. I'm going to take that as a compliment, because as we all know, the actors in movies are the classiest people on the face of this earth. Except for the ones that aren't. Like all of them. But thank you, thank you, I do appreciate it. You feel like you're watching an old western? My friend, do I look like, like I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle? No, no, my friend, I, I am not pulling out my six-shooter and walking into a saloon and calling people out and saying, come into, come into the dirty street, I'm going to shoot you unless you shoot me first. No, 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 classy individuals don't do that. And instead, I've got my scotch, I've got my cigar, I've got the very practical protection for my head. People don't wear head protection. Look, the sky might fall. You might need head protection. Thus the hat. It's practical. It's just not stylish. So, uh, <clears throat> Western, not, not so much, but maybe a gentleman who goes to a private cigar club in the middle of London, London City, maybe, maybe I would be that. So Hikitsune says, a glass of Jack Daniels Honey Whiskey, $25, a pair of suspenders, $10, watching Scotch and Smoke Rings with my girl after m nine months of inactivity, priceless. Well, sir, I am so glad that you and your beautiful lady are here with me today. <laughs> oh no, what's going on here? There, no more echo. Gulbrad says, Oxhorn, Facebook comments, indeed. Uh, I'm not ignoring them, I just need to open them up. Azanoth says, Hey, Archon, have you ever watched Epic Meal Time on YouTube? I have. I am a fan of all that bacon. You can't go wrong with so much bacon. All right, I'm going to lean over and read this. So, ignore the crazy people behind me. Ox, my marching band is going to be marching in the President's Inaugural Parade this month, says Gulbreth. I'm so excited. Do you actually watch the parade each year? I have seen the parade. I don't sit down and make it a point to watch it every year, but now that I know that you're going to be in it, or is it your school's marching band, or will you actually be performing in it? If you're performing in it, I'll be sure to sit down with the family and watch, because I think that'd be awesome to be able to say, one of my regulars, one of my fans, is marching in the President's Inaugural uh, Parade. Okay, we've got some people going on. Lib Libon Gawata Drinka says, Excuse me, Twitch TV is for gaming only. Look, my friend, I don't think you understand. I am video games. Yeah. Outside of me, there is no such thing as a video game. I invented them all. Uh, I represent them all. So my presence being in front of this screen simply means that a video game is being played. I, I take that back. I'm not really that uh, that arrogant. But uh, the, if, if for those of you who don't know, this actually this stream actually does have some some things to do with video games. If you don't know, go and Google Oxhorn. For those who don't know who I am, go Google Oxhorn, and you will instantly see why this stream is related to video games. Google and I, you know, we're on we're like this. We're buddies. <laughs> I 
Vitrin asks, Oxhorn, is there any specific company you're partnered with on YouTube or just YouTube themselves? Um, I have no professional relationship with any company, uh, aside from my own work outside of Oxhorn. So no, I, I'm not partnered with anyone. I've got my own channel. I publish my own movies, my own music, all World of Warcraft and video game related. Um, I don't have a partnership with Machinima.com, for example. I, and I never wanted to. They, they came to me on a number of occasions and they wanted me to publish my work with them. And I never saw a need because they were going to take a percentage of all the ad revenue that my movies generated. And I felt at the time, and I feel to this day, that I have no reason to share my ad revenue with them. They're not working on my movies. They had nothing to do with it. I've got my own channel. My fans come to my own streams. They're, they have become unnecessary, in my personal opinion. Uh, Greg Hartung says, I sent you some fan art, though it's a good chance that it's in your spam folder. Yeah, let me check it out. I'm going to see if I can find it for you. Ah, oh, Greg Hartung, look at that. <laughs> I like it. This is from Greg Hartung. Stay Claxy. Another Oxhorn reference in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Complete five Claxy daily quests, and you get the achievement Stay Claxy. Yeah, I'm totally... I'm going to take that. Now, I suppose Ron Burgundy might be able to claim that one, but... No way. That's mine. That's totally mine. With new perfected hydraulic brakes. Best Rogue Ever 27 says, How much did that fine cigar cost? Uh, this particular one cost uh, $2. It's a $2 cigar. Um, and it's lasting me a long time. This is going to last me for the entire hour of this stream. Cute little hardcore kitten. One of these days, I just need to sit down and make you a moderator. You have been so faithful, and I have been lazy. I'm sorry. Uh, but you would be an awesome mod. I need to sit down and just give you those powers one of these days. Uh, Foamy asks, do you shower naked or with your clothes on? Well, little did you know that I'm actually naked right now. This is me naked. Underneath all the clothes, of course. I'm actually never naked. When you have a beard, you're never naked. Cheers to that, ladies and gentlemen. Bottoms up. Greg Hartung says the fangirls beg to differ. Quite possibly. <laughs> One cent says, bro, I'm working on my beard. Going on four months, no shave. Cheers. Congratulations, my friend. This is... Uh, one year and one month, so this is 13 months worth of growth. This is what your beard, beard will look like in 13 months. Terminal length on a beard is two years. Two years to get to your maximum length. It will continue to grow after that, but it slows way down. It will also slow way down after four months, as I'm sure you're, you're, you're discovering. Uh, but after two years, you're, you're going to have a good expectation for what your beard is supposed to look like. Nephila Van Hammer says, Hey Ox, is it ever hard being famous? No, not really. Uh, all my life I've been famous. At least I, I thought I have. So I actually approach every moment of my life as if I'm famous. When I walk into the coffee shop, they all say, Oxhorn, here's your coffee. And I say, thanks, because I'm famous, right? When I go to pay my taxes, the government says, Oxhorn, we'll give you money. Why? Because I'm famous. Yeah. It's just the way I live my life. I'm kidding. The government doesn't give me any money. I wish they would. I could use some. But they don't give me money. No, they take it. Darn government. As the note says, enjoy your scotch and cigar, Ox. Thank you very much. I have been missing this. It's been three weeks since I've uh, lit up a fine stogie. And uh, it's a welcome relaxation. Lorenica says that's called income tax, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm actually okay. Well, no. My, 
Income tax bothers me to a certain extent. What I would prefer, here's, if, if I had my brothers, there would be one flat tax. Everybody pays a percent. 15%, 20%, right? Everybody. When you're a millionaire, you're paying a whole lot of money because a percentage of your income is much. If you're not rich, then you're paying a very small amount of money because the same percentage of your income is not a whole lot. I think that's much more fair. Instead, we have this ridiculously crazy uh, tax system that you have to hire 10 professionals just to get done. Eh. Vithrin says, why'd you get rid of the link to the forums on Oxhorn.com? I didn't. Did I? I didn't get rid of it. Let me check it out. Now, we have been attacked by a bunch of Chinese spammers. Uh, on the forum at oxhorn.com, but I cleaned that all up uh, before I left on vacation, so... Well... Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, crap. Well, the forum is still there. If, you're, if you want to find it, go to oxhorn.com. Hover over the, the link that says community, and then you'll find the forum there. But there's a whole bunch of spam in the forum right now that I'm going to have to go through and delete. So thanks for reminding me. I'll take care of that. Loranica says, please please check Twitter. All right. Uh, Loranica says, hey, Oxhorn, what's your favorite Legend of Zelda game? Also, did you... Okay. Why does my computer do that? All right. <clears throat> then he says, uh, what's your favorite Legend of Zelda game? Also, did you ever finish the Oxhorn brand app? Leave it to you to bring that up again. <laughs> um, two questions. First one is... Uh, Zelda. Uh, my favorite Zelda game... Well, okay. Leaving out, out the original, that's my favorite one. The original for the, S uh, the Super Nintendo... Or the Nintendo Entertainment System, that's my favorite. But aside from that, I have fond memories of watching my brother, who was the true gamer of the family, play that one for the Nintendo 64... Ocarina of Time. I've I never played it myself, but I watched my brother play it, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, as for the Oxhorn brand app, yeah, I'm still working on it. It's it's been in the same state for a year now. Um, <laughs> I, I I really need to release it, but I've got so much going on. I just need to hire a scientist to clone me, so that there will be two of me. One to leave here in front of the computer to make things like the Oxhorn brand app and more movies and more music, and then one, to send off to work every day and slave away in the marketing department so that I can bring home the bacon. Bacon is important. It's healthy for you. Foamy says, how was World War II? We won. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, Hitler is dead. So we're doing okay. Then Fomi asks, has anyone ever told you how strikingly handsome you are? Uh, so often now that uh, I don't even pay attention to it. I'll be walking down the streets and people will say, hey, you're strikingly awesome and handsome. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So I just keep walking. Best girl get ever, 27, says, for $100,000, I'll clone you. Awesome. Let's connect after the show. I've got the money just sitting right there. I'll FedEx it over in a big leather suitcase. And you just, you get to work. Get to work on the cloning bit. And uh, then let me know when he's when he's ready. Now, it won't be me unless he's got the beard. You could clone me and shave his beard, and that's not a clone. He's got to have the beard and give him some suspenders, and then we're good. Black Angus got N on Twitter says, "Sure, wait until I wasn't paying attention to announce it, and then rush right in, so I log in late." <laughs> Sorry, my friend. I'm just so glad that you're here today. You didn't miss much. Don't worry. Sam Nichols says, "I've had the cigar you're currently smoking. How is the draw on yours?" Well, I had it. It was so packed, I couldn't even draw through it. Also. How is its flavor? I may need to retry it. Uh, great question. Now, the answer to that question is that this is not a quality cigar. I really should only be smoking quality cigars on this program, but because none of my awesome fans have sent me any cigars yet, I'm forced 
to smoke these sticks. Now, it's not the end of the world. This cigar is not horrible. Um, the draw on it is actually pretty decent, and I, it's uh, partially because I just purchased it. it. It was kept in a really nice humidor for many, many weeks. I just purchased it, and then I immediately smoked it, so it's got a good draw. The flavor actually is not too bad. I'm not... I'm not surprised. I'm surprised that it is as good as it is. The flavor is not bad. So this this is a gem, um, but it's not a, a really nice quality cigar. Gawkroach says Oxhorn. Hey, good to see you, Gawkroach. G. You gotta have the the glottals. G. Otherwise, you get yourself into trouble. G. Daniel Rudback says, "Can you say hey to my mate Bubba?" whom hopefully is watching the stream. All right, Bubba, your buddy Daniel says hey, and then I also say hey on behalf of Daniel, who can't say hey. Thus he says hey through me. So hey. Shwarma says, what if the clone was just beard and suspenders? Good enough. That's all you need. Beard and suspenders, maybe throw the hat in there, and you've got a clone. You're good to go. Gokroach says, 500 buckaroos for your hat. Sold! And you'll get the one I'm wearing now, not a, not a duplicate. Wow, I don't, I don't have duplicates. I don't know what you're talking about. It'll be this legitimate one, the one I always wear. Totally not some other hat that I paid $25 for. No, it'll be this. 500 bucks, you got it. <laughs> Nethala Van Hammer says, did you see what I posted last? Sorry, I didn't. Let me see. Scrolling up. All right. Can't seem to find it. That's okay. <clears throat> Weedly says, Oxhorn, do you like mob movies? Uh, kind of. Like, what do you mean? Like, Snatch? You know that movie, Snatch, that British movie about snatching that diamond? Is that considered a mob movie? Because I enjoyed that. Greg Hartung says, how goes the, qu the quest of answering your 7,000 unread emails? Uh, yeah, it's up to 8,000 now. <laughs> I just need a clone, right? I seriously need a clone to read all my emails and answer all my fan questions and go through Facebook and answer all my Facebook questions. <laughs> there needs to be more of me. I'm sure many people throughout history have said that, which is why they have children. I'm working on it. I've made a little clone of myself. He's only seven months old right now, so I can't expect him to make movies for me yet. But maybe in 20 years. Mm. <laughs> Lepidus says Oxhorn, and I shall name him Mini Me. Yes. Imagine Justin says, out of all your movies, all of the movies you have done, which ones are your favorites? Um, gosh, I love them all. It's, it's like picking your children. I enjoyed Adventist Forwards 5 a lot. I enjoyed Mighty Morphin Midget Gnomes a, lo uh, a lot. Those are two of my favorites. I, I actually really enjoyed Thunk Leaves Home a lot. I didn't enjoy making like the game, but I really enjoyed the final product like the game. It's probably one of my favorite music videos I've made. It was just complicated to make. All my software on my machine is getting old and bogged down, so it's hard to make movies now. But I still make them. Jonathan says, would you ever consider letting a fan, a fan make the app for you? I would consider it... I would just have to talk with that fan and flesh out the details, but yeah, I would consider it. <laughs> Shwarma says, don't, don't lie, Ox. It was the Team Fortress stuff, which is why it shall never, ever return. I really enjoyed making the Dynamic Action Team. He's referring to a series that I made back in 2008-2009 when I worked for Wii Game called the Dynamic Action Team. I actually really enjoyed writing the scripts and doing all of the, the, the editing for that. You know, I wish I had more time to work on that series. I've got a lot of ideas. I left it as a cliffhanger. I mean, I've got a sequel. I've got the next one already planned out. The next one was supposed to, to be made and left for dead. 
The uh, script is already ready. I even have some of the voice recording done. I just never got around to making it. Because I got laid off. I got laid off from that job. Oh, well. <laughs> Niraba says, Octone, when are you going to shave your beard? Look, that's like asking me, when am I going to commit suicide? The two are the same. I can't shave the beard. It would make me cease to exist. So I'm sorry. That's like saying, do you want to live without a right hand? How would you like to live without your legs? Yeah, no, sorry. This thing is part of me. In fact, it has a name. It's called Zug Zug. I didn't name it. All of you did. The fans named it. Uh, and I actually like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> it's, gro it's growing on me. It's called Zug Zug. Yeah, I know. That was pretty bad. Yeah. A pun. What can I do? <laughs> uh, Daniel says, I challenge you to blow a smoke ring through another smoke ring. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm still laughing at my own puns. Ugh, that's bad. When someone else is laughing at their own jokes, you know it's bad. Theodore says, are you still pl uh, pretty active in WoW, and do you like Mists of Pandaria? Ah! Yeah! Cheers, ladies and gents. Bottoms up. Data for Whitney says, Oxhorn, how much do I have to pay you to get a small snippet of your beard in a velvet bag? This show has suddenly taken a creepy left turn. All right, smoke ring and a smoke ring. Let's see if I can do it. I'm working on it. The problem is that it just, they meld into one big puff. Um, I just, Bean Jaman says, Oxhorn, do you like internet memes? Look, you know the rules, and so do I. Dang it. Ah, I can't do it. Les Sports says, Oxhorn, have you seen Chinglish's stream on uh, uh, Twitch TV yet? Uh, you would enjoy his stream. He is tattooed from head to toe. I mean, like, head, face, neck, hands, everything, but he's the nicest dude and down to earth. I've seen, and the most down-to-earth stream I've seen on Twitch. Uh, I haven't seen his stream. I'm immediately intrigued. I'd love to. Uh, now, as for myself, I'm not keen on tattoos. It's not my thing. I don't look down on people who have had tattoos. That's their own choice. I don't particularly think they're very classy. I mean, tattoos come from, at least in the Anglo world, from sailors who visited strange and tropical locales and picked them up from the local natives. And the gentleman walking around London City with his umbrella didn't necessarily have his face covered in tribal art. But, hey, to each his own, right? Gawkroach says, Oxhorn, do you have a YouTube channel with machinimas you've made? I'd love to remember the good old times. Indeed I do. They are all still up on my uh, YouTube channel. <coughs> YouTube.com slash Oxhorn. Or, go to oxhorn.com and you can watch them all from there. What, whatever you prefer, but they are all still online and available for watching.
Les Sports says he tour he toured the world with his band and got tattooed all over the world. So I guess it's semi the same. Yeah, you know, again, um, no shame to him. You know, more power to him. It's just not my thing. But I'd still love to see his uh, his show. That last one was one, <clears throat> but when the smoke ring went through the other smoke ring, it blew up that first smoke ring. This is an impossible order. This is a tall, a tall order. I don't know if I have the powers. My set bonus is apparently only functioning at half capacity. Freedom says, my dad is a tattoo artist, but he smokes cigars, wears derbies, and wears suspenders. You'd like him. I probably would. Sounds like a guy I'd like. Weedley asks, what's your job, bud? Uh, I'm a marketing expert. I, I do inbound marketing for a uh, digital marketing company here in Seattle. So I spend my time doing search engine optimization and search engine marketing. All right, I'm going to refresh my Facebook comments here. No, no ones. Vitrin says, I was in Seattle in August. My sister and brother-in-law moved there because my bro-in-law got a well-paying job with Amazon. Congratulations to him. Uh, I used to work at Amazon. Right after college in about two, uh, 2007, I got a job at Amazon and I worked there for six months in the DVD team. That was back in the whole format war bef uh, between HD, DVD, and Blu-ray. Obviously, Blu-ray won. Uh, but yeah, I worked there for six months and it was a fun time. I got to go to downtown Seattle every day. At that time, Amazon had an office in the Columbia Tower, which is the tallest man-made structure in Washington State. In the entire Pacific Northwest, I believe. But yeah, fun memories. That was a good job. <laughs> Mike Chessel says, did I really just get Rick rolled by Oxhorn? Yes, somebody got it. That was my internet meme, right? <laughs> Depp says, where do people ask these questions Ox is answering? I think you might have found it. But yeah, people sending me tweets on Twitter. I'm at, at Oxhorn. I answer those. I give those precedents. I also answer the Facebook comments that are posted at scotchandsmokerings.com. You can post a comment on that page with your Facebook account, and I do answer those. And then I'm looking at the chat there at scotchandsmokerings.com, and then also on my Twitch TV page. What is with the lack of class from the people at Twitch TV? Ban him... Oh, only one? Okay. Well, ban him. Min Cognito says, do you even lift? Funny story, The there's a house nearby in my neighborhood with Wi-Fi that says, bro, do you even lift? That's the name of the Wi-Fi. I've tried connecting, but I can't get access to it. Apparently, I can't lift. Vyfren says, funny story, it seems we happened to be in the same city at the same time. When you were in San Francisco a few years ago, I was there as well, and then in Seattle just a few months ago. Our paths, they keep crossing, just we never seem to connect. Good times in San Francisco, good times. Eric of Awesome on Twitter says, it's a good thing Ox totally won't read this in his live stream. Yes, I did just read that on Twitter. I do tend to give precedence to Twitter. It's easier for me to consume. <laughs> Melinda just says, how are the wife and son faring ox? My beautiful wife is recovering from her surgery. She's a strong lady, so she's doing very well. The boy is doing great. He's just, we just got him a new jump, a, a bouncy thing. We hook it up to the door jam, and then he sits inside of it and then bounces. And he's having a lot of fun. 
Here's the cutie pie. Foamy says, tell us the story of when you first started bearding and cigaring. Great question. I, I was born with this beard. That's right. Out of my mother's womb, I came fully bearded and suspended. Um, no, I just, uh, out of high school, I stopped shaving. And that's the beard. I would trim it every now and then, but I really stopped trimming and shaving back uh, about a year ago. As for the cigars, I was given a tobacco pipe from my grandma for one of my birthdays many years ago. It was my grandfather's old tobacco pipe. It was a Kirsten tobacco pipe made by the Kirsten Pipe Company here in Seattle. It was made from aircraft grade aluminum with a Meerschaum bowl. I really enjoyed that pipe and it kind of got me into the hobby of smoking tobacco pipes. Uh, then when I moved to California, I couldn't find a store that sold pipe tobacco, so I found some cigars, tried my first cigar, and enjoyed it. I actually prefer the cigar to the tobacco pipe, and so I have been enjoying them in moderation ever since. Weedley says, Oxhorn, is the way you smoke a cigar different from the way you smoke a cigarette, and is it healthier? Um, yes, yes, and no. So, you do smoke a cigar differently from a cigarette. And the main way is that you don't actually inhale the smoke. People who smoke cigarettes, they inhale the smoke. It enters their lung. Their lungs absorb the tar and the nicotine. Pardon me, and the nicotine. And that's really bad for them. But cigar smokers and tobacco pipe smokers bring the smoke into their mouth, taste the flavor of the smoke, and then expel it immediately. Is it safe? No. I will never say that smoking a cigar or a tobacco pipe is safe. However, the risks are much less. It is far less likely that you'll ever develop cancer or even a nicotine addiction by smoking cigars and pipes. Now, some people do. I have known people, not personally, but Rush Limbaugh, for example, developed a nasty addiction to cigars, and he had to stop because he knew his limit, and he couldn't handle it, and so he had to stop. Um, I don't personally approve of addictions. That's not something I'm interested in. I smoke one of these a week, really, um, and that's far too little for it to ever harm me. Um, I would just say if you're interested in cigars or tobacco pipes, do a little bit of research on your own. Read the medical journals and the health reports on smoking cigars and tobacco pipes, and then if you do pick it up, enjoy it in moderation. Don't smoke one every day. Don't smoke a couple a day. Smoke one or two a week. Enjoy the flavor. Take it slow. As you can see, I've been smoking the same cigar for over an hour. Take a while to get through it and uh, just enjoy the experience. These were designed to be social creatures. You don't enjoy a cigar by yourself. Now, I realize the irony in that I am by myself, but I like to think of the fact that I am enjoying this with all of my online friends. All of the 90, 100 of you that are watching right now are here with me in spirit, and we are communing on some sort of digital plane, uh, having a sort of... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. That was crass. Never mind. Shwarma says, planting peak turnips in Pandaria to the pleasant patter of Oxhorn. I like your alliteration, my friend. Gulbreath says, Ox is smoke ship soon. Not sure how much longer I can stay. My friend, thank you so much for coming to the show. If you've got to leave, that's fine. I'll probably go on for another 10 minutes or so because I had so many technical issues at the beginning of the stream, uh, but then I will do the smoke ship. Uh... Tumnus says, Hey, Oxhorn, does trimming your beard regularly help make it thicker? No, that's actually a myth. If you trim or shave, it doesn't make your beard grow back thicker. People think it does only because when you shave, you blunt the ends of your hair, which normally come out tapered, and that makes them look darker. But it doesn't make it grow back thicker or stronger. Uh, if you want a long beard, don't touch it. Just let it grow. That's my only suggestion. World of Honor! Okay, so sorry, World of Honor. World of Honor is the fantastic individual who has been doing all of the transcripts for my shows. She asks, Oxhorn, do you want me to continue doing the transcripts for your episodes? I haven't had anything in Dropbox since episode 167. I'm so sorry that it took you having to go into the show to actually ask me that. Um, 
you're right. I have been completely negligent. I haven't given you the shows to do the transcripts for. The, the, the answer is yes and no. No, I don't want you to have to go back and do all of the transcripts for the old episodes. Uh, just because that would, that would be a whole lot of money up front and a lot of time on your part. But yes, I do want you to continue to do the transcripts. I've been so preoccupied with life and jobs that I've been forgetting to send you my episodes to transcribe. So I'll try to remember to do this one and send it to you. Uh, thank you so much for all of your hard work. I love the transcriptions that you have been doing. For those of you who don't know, you can go to scotchandsmokerings.com and then go into my past episodes and read everything that transpired during that transcript. Um, and she's very, she's very, very attentive. She actually looks up all of your usernames before transcribing them just to make sure she gets them right. So thank you so much for all of your hard work. I'm a cute little hardcore kitten says transcript. Yeah, many of you may not even know that there are transcripts to the show. Basically, a transcript is just the written form of everything that I'm saying now. So instead of having to listen to the entire episode to hear it, you could read through it if you wanted to. It's great for search engine optimization. It's good for people who uh, um, who I I'm speaking too fast or they don't know English as a primary language. It helps them in, in that regard. So that's why I do it. Calcium12 says, I'm of the Oxhorn. Bro, I didn't know you. You streamed. Or you streamed. Indeed I do. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for coming. I do this show every Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I realize it's Saturday, but uh, I've had some issues this week in getting to my camera. So next week, it will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time on the dot. This week, uh, of course, I'm, I'm on Saturday, but... Hieroglyphs asks, how long have you been streaming for? This is episode 181. So I've been doing it for 181 weeks. That's over three years. McClutterbuck says, hey man, I haven't played WoW in over a year. I used to play with my friends, and we shared so many laughs from your videos. I saw your name on Twitch stream and came in to tell you uh, thanks for making my in-game time so much more enjoyable. Well, thank you very much. That's a very kind comment. I, I still make movies uh, less frequently f frequently than I used to, but I still make movies. I'm working on a new one. I'm going to be getting it out soon. If you want to be alerted whenever I make a new movie, go to my YouTube stream and subscribe to my channel, and you'll get a message every time I release a new movie. I also publish these Scotch and Smoke Rings episodes on my second YouTube channel called Classy Man I Am. It's YouTube slash Classy Man I Am, all one word, and you'll be able to see all of these episodes in case you miss them. Turbo Nerd says you made my Christmas seasons brighter with your Christmas songs. Awesome! I can't tell you how much that uh, I, I appreciate that. I had such a blast making that album. I, when did I release it? 2010, I think it was. Oxhorn's Christmas for Geeks. A lot of really geeky Christmas songs. I had so much fun making that album. I want to make a new album. I've got a bunch of ideas. Everyone in my family wants me to make a children's album now that I'm a father. And I actually have some fun ideas for that. So, we'll see. Luke Nixon 25 says, Do you know any more smoke tricks? Yes. Cheers, ladies and gents. <laughs> that was fun, right? Tofa says, Hey, Ox, 
Sorry for joining late. My question is, what scotch are you, are you drinking tonight? Tonight we are enjoying Scoresby Scotch Whiskey. A very fine scotch. No, I'm kidding. It's not a very fine scotch. It's actually a bottom shelf blended scotch whiskey. However, of all the blended scotch whiskeys I've tried, that is my favorite. One of these days I will drink a nice Laphroaig for you all, or maybe a Glenlivet. But for the moment I am drinking Scoresby, which is nice. Is that sorcery? No, 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 no. Scoresby. I'll hold it up for you. Scoresby. Very well. Blended Scotch Whiskey. It's not too bad. And today I am smoking a Jim's Dominican. Not the best cigar, but again, this one actually is fairly nice. Lepidus of Rune Totem says, Darn, throughout most of this episode, I feel like I have been ignored. My friend, many apologies. I don't mean to ignore you. Um, there are just so many people right now that I'm having a hard time getting to everybody. We've got 130 people watching the stream right now. The Twitch TV chat is actually blowing up. So if I don't see all of your comments, um, that's my, my bad. However, I will give you a hint. I have so little time to myself these days, so little in fact, that uh, it's taking away from my movie making time, that I don't really have time to star in other people's machinimas or read their screenplays, or read their stories, or help them with their movies, as much as I wish I could. So if I get questions saying, hey, will you read my story? Hey, will you help me with my movie? Hey, can you do some voice acting for me? I tend to ignore those and not answer them just because there are so many other questions that I can get to, and I can't always get to those. I'm sorry, that's just, that is the reality of it. No offense to anyone in the chat. Melanie just says, uh, me thinks it doth be time for a smoke ship ox. I shall now post with the new guidelines. And then Goldbreath asks, Oxhorn, what gets updated more, Twitter feed or Facebook comments? Twitter feed. Twitter gets updated immediately as soon as I see it. Uh, I have to manually refresh my Facebook comments. So if you want me to see your comment, uh, Twitter. If you want me to check Facebook, I will. In fact, here we go. Goldbreath asks, or Goldbreath says, Ox, in case you're wondering, uh, look for the Portsmouth High School Marching Band from Rhode Island. I'll, or I'm the smallest bass drum. Excellent. All right, I'll check that out. Uh, when the presidential inaugural thing goes on, I'll, I'll do my very, my very best to check it out. Lepidus says, hey, Oxford, my brother Volos is currently watching your show. Can you welcome him into your live stream circle? Absolutely, my friend. So glad, Volos, that you are here today. Pleasure to meet you. Mike Chessel asks, I get precedence to asking Oxhorn questions such as this. <laughs> yes, you do. <clears throat> when are we ending the show tonight? I hadn't really thought of a time to end it. We're doing really great. We've got 140 people in the, sh in the chat. Um... Usually I tend to end things after an hour immediately just because I have other wor real world responsibilities. But today's Saturday. It's Saturday, right? We got all night. What is there tomorrow that we have to do? Oh yeah, church. That's right, I gotta go to church. I forgot. Black Angus says, glad to, hear Nova, uh, glad to hear Nova is doing fine. I hope all went well and can you share some fried chicken with her again soon? I will do my very best. We both love a nice healthy meal of grilled chicken. Pitaro says, you probably have told this a million times already, but where did you get your hat? My friend, this is my head. I spontaneously grew it out of the top of my head. Is that strange? Is that not the way with most people on this earth? I just think that the classiness that has adorned itself on this figure, it just came biologically. It, it didn't have to be applied. It just came. It's, it's spontaneous. Melanie just says MikeTheHatter.com, right? Right. Actually, if you're looking for a good derby, go to ScotchAndSmokeRings.com, go to the shop section, and I've got a selection of derbies and top hats that you can purchase from there. Some of them are more expensive, some of them are reasonably priced if you're, if you're on a budget. I think there's one for 20 bucks, and I think there's another for 60 bucks, depending on your budget. Uh, but yeah, you can buy some there, and they're just like this. They're very nice. All right, many of you are asking me to do the smoke ship. So for those of you who need to leave, I'll go ahead and do the smoke ship, and then the show might go on a little bit longer after that, but, uh... World of Arna says more people need to be banned from this chat. Do I need to ban some people? All right, uh... Why are so many people asking me if I even lift? Haven't I answered that already? I lift my beard up from the floor every day. I'd be laying on my back when I sleep. 
And then when I wake, I lift my beard. And that is all the lifting I need to do. Exercise? Ha! Ha! My existence is an exercise. Sompri says, I'm trying to boost your viewer count, man. Thank you so much, Sompri. I really appreciate it. You, sir, are my new best friend. All right, we're going to do a smoke ship here just because so many people are asking for it. And then if you need to leave, that's completely fine. I understand. <clears throat> so for those who do not know, every week here at Scotch and Smoke Rings, I end the show. For those who don't know, a smoke ship is very akin to the kind that Gandalf the Grey does in Lord of the Rings. Mine are better, but... His are nice for an old man. You know, they're good. But I blow a ship into existence based upon your suggestions. So, ladies and gentlemen, give me your suggestions. What would you like to see today? Is it a smoke submarine? Is it a smoke blimp? Maybe it's a smoke battle cruiser or a smoke yacht. That's fine. A smoke spaceship, I'm totally down. Make it nautical themed if you want. Space themed if you want. Let's get a smoke ship idea and I will do my very best. Loranicus, wow, we've got a lot here. Okay, I'm gonna. <clears throat> you guys are ready. Gulbreth says, Ox, Stag, and Mort all sail down the inaugural parade route on a bacon galleon sailing through the streets of Washington. As they sail, they munch on panda pizzas and scotch, saluting the Obama as they pass. Nice. Loranica says, Oxhorn shrunk down in a microscopic bearded Kodo shaped bacon grease fueled sub, sailing through the inside of his computer, killing the micro gnomes that are breaking his show with scary silent rage faces. <laughs> Loranicus, you slay me every time, man. How do you do it? Do you really have a program that you just run to come up with these ideas? It's just hilarious. Melanie just says Oxhorn, Staghorn, and Mortus on a sunny tropical cruise in a turkey gravy sea eating bacon covered donuts while watching Mr. Evil punt gnomes and experiment on baboons. There is no such thing as bad experimentation on baboons. Even if they die, it's good. Right. Nephilus says Ox, Lepidus, Nephila, and friends fight with their bacon forged weapons, gravy spells on an organic chocolate covered potato chip ship. Out of pipe smoke killing zombie panda elves led by Tom. <laughs> a lot of inside jokes there, my friend. A lot of inside jokes. Sompri, how are you doing this? You've got magical Twitch TV powers. I don't even understand. 200 viewers? It's been like a year since we've had that many people. Shwarma says, Oxhorn with Gavin on his shoulders, skiing through the streets of Seattle on strips of bacon to sing holiday songs about Team Fortress. Ben J. Mann says a Millennium Falcon made of bacon riding on top of its ten dancing shark bears. Everyone from your movies are riding with them. Nicely done. Weedley says Chloron Hastings sails an enormous ship built with the finest, crispiest bacon. On the sides, bowler hats fly out from the waves and classy music plays from the captain's cabin. Ox sings of glory. You guys are really creative. I have to give you that. Ellen Zenov Imaginal says, Hey man, I said that you were cute. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm taking that as a compliment. No, I really am. Cute is good. It's good. <clears throat> Thor Melangius Mangius says, and By the way, apologies if I butcher your name. Oxhorn, I nearly peed myself with joy when I saw that you were streaming You Rock. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad that so many people are having a chance to jump in and say hi. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm having a really, I'm having a really hard time deciding which smoke ship to do. You all have made such great smoke ships. Let's see. Nethala says, by the way, Oxhorn, I got a couple of bowler hats and a top hat from a company called Hats in the Belfry. Is that a classy company? Indeed it is. It's a very classy company. F uh, you should not be ashamed of any hat you purchased from them. All right. Um, they're all so good this week. I'm having a hard time making a decision, but I'm going to have to go ahead and do Loranicus's. 
I know I do his often, but it's just so good. Uh, they're all so good, but this one just tickled my fancy. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Smoke Ship. Try to remember exactly what you read from Loranicus. All right, just so I'll point it out. Today's Smoke Ship will be Oxhorn, shrunken down in a microscopic bearded, koto shaped bacon grease fueled submarine, sailing through the insides of his computer, killing the micro gnomes that are breaking his show with scary, silent rage faces. Those darned gnomes keep invading my computer and ruining my stream. All right, here we go. Smoke ship time. Play, uh, pay close attention. If you blink, you're going to miss it. I can't control the winds, so it'll be appearing before you in perfect formation for a brief moment, and then it dissipates. So pay close attention. Here we go. You didn't blink because if you did, you missed it. But for the briefest of moments, there before your very eyes was Oxhorn shrunken down in a microscopic bearded, coated shaped bacon grease fueled submarine sailing through the inside of my computer, killing all of the micronomes that are breaking my show with silent, scary rage faces. I know. I sometimes amaze myself. I really do. What can I say? You know, it's just, it's part of the set bonus. These things combined. The hat, the beard, the cigar, the suspenders, they give me superhuman powers. And I am able to create entire dior uh, dioramas and artistic pieces out of nothing but smoke. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if I didn't choose your smoke ship, it's nothing personal. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. There are just so many awesome smoke ships and only one me. That's the way these things go. Cheers, ladies and gents. <laughs> I can, I can, I can give you anything but love. Baby, that's the only thing. I've plenty of love. Selena Narid 99 says, Are you Al-Qaeda? I don't have a crescent moon on a flag behind me. I'm not wielding a scimitar or an AK-47, nor do I have anyone bound and gagged in my basement. So no, I am not Al-Qaeda. Thank you. There are more people on this earth that have beards than Al-Qaeda. I do believe that gentlemen have existed longer than Al-Qaeda has, and they can stake claim to the gentlemanly beard. Defekian says, I do think you have someone bound and gagged in your basement. You're not supposed to know what I do with the elves. <laughs> mm. Oh no! Fire, don't go out. I would hate to have to rekindle you. <laughs> Barricade says chin afro. This, my friend, is not an afro. This is actually called a gerbaldi. I understand that not many people are knowledgeable about the many facets of beardedness. So, if you don't know anything about it, go to growabeardnow.com. You will see a list of beard styles. This is called a gerbaldi. I don't have to style it. It just grows naturally. Yep, yep, can't complain. Nope. Selenara99 says, are you Amish? No. The Amish don't have a mustache. They shave their mustaches because back when the Amish first came into existence, they felt that the mustache was a symbol of the higher classes that um, were harming them. And they didn't want to be mistaken for them, so they shaved off their mustaches and only grew the beard. So no, I, I'm not Amish, though I have no, I have them no ill will. Of 
You know a lot about the Amish. Tell us more, says Titakana Red 99. Uh, I don't know a whole lot, I just know a little bit. Defection says he's Jewish. Again, I am not Jewish. The Hasidic Jews, uh, the fine gentlemen that they are, they actually let their hair right here, which I believe not Jewish. are an extension of their sideburns, they let these grow out and they tend to curl them, right? Yeah, as you can see, now mine are nicely shaved. I, so, Amish beards, that's one. Uh, Jewish beards, that's another. There are other people on this earth that grow beards. Right? So the next person will say lumberjack. Okay, and I'm not a lumberjack. I do not wield an axe, nor am I chowing down on a stack of pancakes. So we can uh, set that one aside. I'm, I'm free for more uh, suggestions. Any other bearded uh, stereotypes we could come up with? I, I'm fine, right? He's a moonshiner, says XJZX. Again, I am drinking blended scotch whiskey. Nothing against moonshine. I actually, uh, I would love to try some moonshine sometime. America has a, has a long tradition of creating some fantastic moonshine. But again, I am drinking scotch. It's not, not moonshine. Callie Star says Irish. Ding, 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 ding. You got it, my friend. I actually am Irish. H Star also says Irish. Now, I didn't come from Ireland. I am American. I was born in America. But genetically, my history is Irish. So... I say I'm Irish. I don't know if I'm really Irish. I'm really American. Yeah. Oh, no. My cigar has sadly gone out. Whoa, do I get to ban somebody? I do. Banned. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Bam. <laughs> what kind of cigar are you smoking, good sir? Asks Gamer Drew. I am smoking a... Oh, blast. Where is it? It's a J.M.'s Dominican. And the fire has gone out. One must have fire in order to smoke a cigar. Sadly, my lighter uh, has ADHD or something. When in doubt, the handy match. Pro tip, <clears throat> if you smoke a cigarette, you hold it like this. Cigarette is the feminine form of cigar. Started out with the ladies, unable to handle the masculinity of a cigar, smoking these dinky things called cigarettes. A gentleman holds a cigar like this. That's the way it goes. T-Lad says, ahem. I have a question, Braid the Beard. I have had many people ask me if I could braid my beard for them. I have been tempted on many occasions to braid it. However, I am not a dwarf. I have no ill respect toward the dwarves. I haven't seen The Hobbit yet, but I intend to. Um, but I just, uh, I don't believe it's long enough yet to braid it. And uh, I'm not big on braiding. The girls go out and have their, their hair braided. I don't know if it would look right for me to have my hair braided. Maybe one day when my beard is as epic as a dwarf's, I will braid it. But until that day, I am happy to exist with my Garibaldi glory. Depp asks, are you listening to internet radio? If so, which? Yes, I'm listening to an internet radio station called Radio Dismuke. D-I-S-M-U-K-E. I don't have any relationship with them. They're just an internet radio station I really enjoy. They play music from the 20s and 30s. Fantastic music. My favorite period of music is the 20s and 30s. Um, this is, which is why I play it on the show. So if you ever want to listen to them, it's Radio Dismuke. It's completely free, streaming on the internet. I love the guys. Cinderella 99 asks, when are you going to log into World of Warcraft? <clears throat> Probably the next time I have to shoot a scene in a movie. 
For those who don't know, I actually uh, became well known for creating my World of Warcraft machinima movies. You can watch them at oxhorn.com or youtube.com slash oxhorn. Uh, Raffle Mao, Inventing Swear Words, The Anti-Elf Anthem, an Oxhorn Brand Medley, Associate Professor Evil Kills All Ninja Looters and Beggars, etc., etc. Those are my movies. You can check them out there. That is why I'm here on Twitch TV. Nethala uh, Nethala Banhammer says, Hey Ox, I know you hate elves, but what made the exception for Nova before you were married to her and dated her? What made that exception? Yes, it's true. I do hate elves with every fiber of my being. I hate night elves. I hate blood elves. I just hate them all. I hate them so much that I created an anthem about my hatred for them called the Anti-Elf Anthem. You can check it out on YouTube. But the reason, truth be told, that I married my beautiful wife, who is an elf, is that I didn't know she was an elf before I fell in love with her. Now, does that mean that had I known she was an elf, that she played an elf before I fell in love with her, that I wouldn't have married her? Well, we'll leave that to the history books. I'm going to have to go ahead and say, of course not. She is such a unique individual. I would have loved her no matter what she was, and married her no matter what she was. But that doesn't mean that I hate elves any less. Gamer Drew asks, What's your opinion on Swisher Sweets? I'm not terribly fond of them. I've never really tried them. So I, I did try them once. When I was in California, my boss at the time had some Swisher Sweets that he wanted me to try. And so I, I tried one, and I didn't like it. Here's a tip. If you're combustible, is sweet in any way it's not classy it's not like a true cigar a cigar has its own flavor you don't need sugar on it in order for you to enjoy it it doesn't have to taste like chocolate or strawberry or cherry in order for it to be enjoyable a classy cigar or a pipe will have its own flavor based on the location where it was cured or the type of tobacco leaf that it was made from and you enjoy it for that that woody flavor, that robust flavor, instead of a sweet flavor. So no, I'm not terribly fond of Swisher Sweets, that's just my opinion. But this is Scotch and Smoke Rings, and what kind of Scotch and Smoke Rings show would have Sands the Scotch and Sands the Smoke Rings? So cheers ladies and gentlemen, lift your glasses high, bottoms up. That's a good one. Tracek says, I just drank some scotch. It tasted like bleh. My friend, you don't chug scotch. Scotch is not a drink that you just chug, chug, chug. No, 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 no. The classy way to enjoy a gentlemanly alcoholic beverage is to sip. I've been working on this one ounce of scotch for over an hour now. As you can see, I'm not inebriated. I have not torn off all my clothes and set things aside for my cigar on fire. No, I actually have all of my wits about me, and I'm conversing with all of my fine friends. I am being social. That is the point of cigars and scotch. It's not to be antisocial. It's not to, to, to get your, your fix. It is to be social with your friends and to enjoy a gentlemanly pastime. Cheers. <clears throat> Imagine Justin says, Oxhorn, may we see another smoke drink? Sure, absolutely. Here we go. Er flackte vor 
Amen. Shouldn't have done that. You can tell a fellow who doesn't smoke cigarettes because his lungs are actually still sensitive. The point of a cigar is to taste the flavor and to expel it, not to inhale it. So if you accidentally inhale a little bit of it, someone with sensitive lungs is going to cough. And that's fine. Try not to inhale it. That's really bad for you. Just enjoy the flavor and expel it. All right, you, you guys are wanting to see World of Warcraft. Fine, 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 fine. I understand. I've got World of Warcraft on this machine. Let me fire it up for you guys, and I'll show you that fantastic, brightly colored world of World of Warcraft. See if I can find it on my machine, because I haven't fired it up in months. World. I take that back. I play it all the time. All the time. World of Warcraft. There it is. World of... There it is. Mr. Pendaria. Here we go. Play on the Moon Guard server, says BJ Man. Oh no! I've got to download a bunch of patches! <laughs> it's. Alright, I'm trying to play it. Look, here, see? I've got it fired up. Here it is, right here. Oh, you can't actually see it. Alright, why is it not letting you see it? Alright, I've got it fired up. I'm loading. I'm going to show you some World of Warcraft because I know so many of you want to see it. And that's fine. In the meantime... While it's loading, I'll answer your questions. What's your favorite brand of scotch? Asks Tinneridge. Glen uh, Fittick. Glen Fittick is my favorite brand of scotch. I also enjoy Glen Livet. And Lafroig. Lafroig is a fantastic scotch. Wow, how much are they going to have me download? World of Warcraft patch 5.1.0a. Initializing. This may take a little bit of time, but that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We, we are fully equipped with scotch and cigars and a plethora to talk about. A gamer Drew asks, where do you purchase your cigars? Uh, all right, I've got a list of my personal favorite cigars posted <clears throat> at scotchandsmokerings.com. There's a little link at the top that says Gifts for Ox. Click on that, and you're going to see a selection of cigars that you can choose from. If, go to the website, browse yourself. You can find a whole bunch of great cigars. They get delivered right to your door. I prefer to purchase my cigars online just because you can spend a lot less money for a whole lot of cigars. If you go to a shop, you're going to spend 2 to $8 on one stick. That is not financially responsible, even though I sometimes do it sometimes when I'm in a bind. <clears throat> What's better is if you can get a nice stack of cigars for less than a dollar a stick. Moosey C says on Twitter, Oxhorn, I'm sure I won't get a reply from you, but I would love to play World of Warcraft with you. I roleplay mostly, but I do hardcore game as well. My friend, I would love to play with you as well. In fact, I actually have a guild on World of Warcraft. Um, the uh, Silverhand server, uh, the Invisible Pink Unicorns is my guild. It's open to anybody. We're not a hardcore gaming guild, although we do some raids and some dungeons. Feel free to message anyone in the guild if you would like a guild invite, and they will be happy to invite you to the Invisible Pink Unicorns. Nathalie says, can I come too? Ox, absolutely. Anyone is... Uh, free to join that guild. It's a lot of fun. Look, people on Twitch TV who are talking about me being banned for not playing World of Warcraft, I happen to be on great terms with the fine people on Twitch TV. They invited me to start my show here. They invited me to monetize my stream, which, by the way, I haven't showed. I haven't shown any commercials during this stream, so you should, you should all be happy. Um, I'm not scared of being banned at any time because these guys are great, and I love them. Um, but, because you want to see World of Warcraft, I'm loading it up. So hang tight while my computer loads the game. Alright? Sounds good to me. Pink 
Pink Cupcake asks, are you married? I, I am indeed married. My beautiful wife, Nova Domina, also plays World of Warcraft. She's in the other room right now. Um, I haven't heard from her, so I hope she's okay. Let me see if she's texted me. I tend not to do the show in the rest of the house just because I don't I don't want smoke to go everywhere. <laughs> Havok says, don't mind them too much. Thank you, Havok. I won't mind them too much. I, my, my fingers are getting, ti are getting tired from banning so many people, but... Oh well. These things happen. Uh, no no texts from my, my wife, so I should be alright. Uh, hey, look, cool. My, my World of Warcraft is halfway through downloading the latest patches. So I'll be able to start it up in just a moment, fellows. I'm a cute little hardcore kitten says, then mod me. Alright, how do I mod somebody? Havok, is there a way for me to make one of my fans a moderator? Because... Cute little hardcore kitten has been so patient and would be a fantastic mod. Sec says, uh, dude, do you dye your beard? It's so hot. I wish my girlfriend would love my beard. Oh, sure, mod username? Excellent. Thank you, Havoc. Uh, backslash M-O-D. <clears throat> All right, cute little hardcore kitten, I'm going to make you a mod. I just found out how. Cute little hardcore kitten. Oh, there's your name. All right, mod space. Cute little hardcore kitten. Bam. All right, you should be a mod now, my friend. There you go. You're a mod. Ban away. Ban until your heart is content. You now have the power of Oxhorn's ban hammer. Ban indiscriminately. Ban, 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 ban. Right, we're gonna have fun here. <laughs> Law, you didn't add the two? I did add the two. Cute little hardcore kitten, too. Yes, I added the two. Cute little. Did I spell it wrong? Cute little hardcore kitten, too. Cute little hardcore kitten, too. I did. I added the two. I'm looking at it right now. It says cute little hardcore kitten. I can't tell you how to ban. All I know is that on my on my screen there's a little a little ban si symbol. You've got to refresh. All right, refresh, cute little hardcore kitten, and you will have all the power in the universe to ban as you see fit. <laughs> Redneck Champ says, "I just had a 15 pack cigar sampler from Alec Bradley sent to me. Fantastic! I hope you enjoy it." Now, what they're going to do is you're going to have, like, 15 different cigars. It'll be from that same company, so they'll all be fantastic. They'll, they'll all taste great. Let me know which ones you like best. It'd be great to sort of do a swap here and see, like, I'll buy some, try them out. You can buy some. Let me know. Oh, man, I'm failing on the smoke rings here. There we go. Alright, I hear the baby crying, so I'm going to text my wife to see if she needs me. I know, I know, real life interrupting the stream, what can I say? Do you need me? All right, it says I've downloaded enough to be able to play it, so I'm going to fire it up and see what we can do. Oh, my authenticator? All right. And now I just got a new phone, so I hope my authenticator is working... <laughs> yes, it is. So if anyone wants to hack into my account, it's 
Awesome. It's loading up. There. So all of you on Twitch TV can now be happy. I'm going to be playing World of Warcraft for you. Because I know that's what you want. Can you spin in your chair while shooting out smoke rings, asks Lyric. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? I can do all things. Cigar related. I'm a cute little hardcore kitten, says, after all these weeks, I finally have the power I have asked for. Thank you, Oxhorn. You are welcome. Use it liberally, my friend. <laughs> Riley Jur says, Oxhorn, who is your favorite actor? Good question. I love Jack Black. I know, it's probably expected. Everyone says I look like him for some reason. But I like Jack Black. I also really like Zach Galifianakis. Is anyone familiar with Zach? That's probably a stupid question. Of course, you're all familiar with Zach Galifianakis. The beard. The guy's got a beard, man. It's like an awesome beard. Although, he does wash his with Perk Plus. Not terrible, you know, Perk Plus, look, it's a fine shampoo, I wouldn't use it for my beard, too much wax in it. No, there are beard shampoos and beard conditioners you can get, specifically for your beard. Go to growabeardnow.com and you'll see a fine selection designed specifically for your beard. Those, those are some of my favorite actors. Gamer Drew says, what's a good site to order cigars from? Go to scotchandsmokerings.com and you will see a section of the site that says uh, Gifts for Ox. And you can find some cigars there. All right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Duty calls. Uh, my beautiful wife is, uh, as you all know, she just got out of surgery. She's a little sore and the baby needs to be fed. So I am going to go and help her with that. Um, I'm going to have to cut this off early. Actually, it's not early. Usually, I only do this for an hour. I've been doing it for two hours now, so thank you, everybody, for coming. Before I get into World of Warcraft, sadly, I'm going to have to go. So thank you all for coming. Tune in next week at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time here at scotchandsmokerings.com, and I'll be able to do this uh, show for you again. And, and I will show World of Warcraft just because you all want to see it so much. Thank you all for coming. Go to oxhorn.com to see all my movies, scotchandsmokerings.com to check out cigars and all sorts of classy things. And if you want to see the reruns of this show, I have them all posted there. So thank you so much. And as always, we say here at scotchandsmokerings.com, be sure, my friends, to stay classy. <laughs>